mathematics is the language of the universe. How is it that even the most obscurest phenomena in the universe have some mathematics to describe them? Forces are described by Newton's laws of motion. Electromagnetic waves are described by Maxwell's equations, wave equations, Fourier analysis. Thermodynamics is described by the laws of thermodynamics, statistical mechanics, heat equation. Quantum mechanics is described by Schrodinger equation, linear algebra, probability theory. Fluid dynamics is described by Navier-Stokes equations, Bernoulli's principle, continuity equation. And plenty other day-to-day -day activities are carried on with the help of mathematics. So it is natural to think does God also have a representation in mathematics. In this video, we will discuss the possible expression of God in mathematics using complex numbers. A square root is a number that when multiplied by itself produces the original number. A negative number multiplied by itself will give a positive number. A positive number multiplied by itself gives a positive number. There is no scenario where a number comes to mind that when multiplied by itself will give a negative number. The square root of minus 1 is denoted by the letter i and expressed symbolically as shown. Real numbers are actually imaginary. Imaginary numbers are actually unimaginable. The Greeks knew of complex numbers via quadratic equations but could not find its representation in geometry. In the Renaissance period it was used in solving cubic and quartic equations. Gerolamo Cardano called them nonsense and René Descartes was openly critical, calling them imaginary. Euler's groundbreaking work of his famous equation connected imaginary numbers to geometry. This number is a raging philosophical debate. One group says it exists and another says it doesn't. Just like God. God is attributed to be the creator of the world. This number is the mother of all creation in the world of mathematics similar to God. The mother of all numbers is not zero or one. It is square root of minus 1, from which the entire number line springs out. It should rather be seen as an independent entity that interacted with itself to produce the real world. Just like the Big Bang is attributed to be the creation of the universe or God is the creator of the universe from which creation sprang out. The square root of minus 1 is the Big Bang of the number line. God is not possible to imagine. Just as we cannot imagine God except assign a word to Him, so too we cannot imagine square root of minus one and assign a variable. The belief in God has its benefits. Knowing the Creator exists is a very powerful psychological boost and a stabilizer to society. The belief in square root of minus one also has many benefits as in the study of electrical systems, signal processing, etc. Logic is rationality and the breakdown of rationality happens when we encounter God and His properties. From this breakdown spawns creation. Square root of minus one is where breakdown of rationality happens in mathematics. From this breakdown spawns the entirety of mathematics. As we see from this the parallel for God in the world of mathematics is the complex variable i. And once again mathematics cements its position as the language in which the world is written.